commonly known as uh, look at my left hand, mixed martial arts and self-defense.com. I'm going to show the two-on-two -two knee bar. Okay, special attack two-on-two -two knee bar, also known as the Russian cowboy. A friend of mine is a cyborg instructor in New York. He and two friends of, of mine, uh, and it's a good time to find a guy the Russian cowboy. So it's a two-on-two -two knee bar. You know, you guys, I, I love the two-on-two -two knee hook. This is kind of the same theory. Two legs and two legs. It goes against conventional wisdom. Doesn't mean you don't tap again. Okay. So this one's usually set up from the more south position. A lot of times I'm a man, you're here, coming around, boom. From there, there's no knees to the head unless you're in dream, pride, you know, those kind of organizations in Japan. So you're looking for the north-south choke, use that as a setup a lot. More in here looking for a north-south choke, but he's defending, whatever. I usually come in, arms hike him up high with my elbows. Okay, the guy's usually here looking at breathing stuff. Then I'm going to leapfrog to his hips. Right here. Leapfrog to his hips. I'm going to sit back on him and collect these legs. Fall towards his shoulder, to his hip. Both feet, heels, and his butthole. And then take whatever knee bar that you want. Two on two, tight knee pressure. I'm going to take this one, because it's there. Okay? And I like to put the toes on the top of my head to do a combination knee bar, which is this. With my back and heel hook pressure this way. So I'm going to take this one, push and pull. I can go two on two here, two hands on the heel. I can just use power and then take this one. Uh, if he crosses his ankles, take the top one again right there, like this position. If he crosses the other way, then take this one. Okay, I still like this position with my head. Combining with tent pressure here, I can go for the armpit, nasty break here, okay, pinch this down, look at the girls, what's up, put your hips forward, tight pressure here is what's important guys, pinch the knees, inner uh, thigh master pressure, and heels in the bubble. So, one on side, one on the ground. Working around, he got this underhook, so I feel he's gonna escape with his near side underhook sometimes. Come to north south, bam, keep him down. Look for the north south chill. Okay, which is here. He's defending, weaving here. Jump up, sit down, collect the ball. Okay, come down, choke up on the back. Okay, okay. he crosses the other way. You're resting. Combination, you might be a whole guy. I just want to do that. Do it that way. Or, I'm pin. Yeah. Uh, I'm playing with this now. Um, sometimes I end up not perfect side mount, which would be here. Okay. Sometimes he gets the near side under hook. Looking for escape. Or you clear it uh, with staple moves, with uh, stapling your knees. Staple it to his side, maybe. I used to like to do that pride wheels because then I can use head. But, you know, UFC, that's not allowed. Not anymore. Oh well. But for some reason, I, I kind of like this because it, it's going to make him turn hip in a little bit. And it's going to make him think about the arms and his neck. And up here, it's going to take the focus off his legs. So from here, I'm just going to kick this around. Like the spin around knee bar in half guard. I'm just going to here and collect. Okay, one more time. Sort of a modified version cowboy. Two on two knee bar. Um, you can just do it from here, I guess, but for some reason I, I feel like I'm not getting as hard to this hip, which I clear sometimes again. Make your try this up. The Salberry B tone position. You know, but maybe he clears it out the other way. Oh, so do this hit. You gotta watch his rear under hook escape then. So you gotta stay heavy. Whatever. Round's ending, 30 seconds to go. Go for the tap out, kick that leg over. Collapse, sit back on his hips, then to his shoulder. So 
Tuna Tunibar. And we may have to start to find that calm and then hopefully we'll enjoy them.